We're back on the Lobo Coaches Show. I'm Robert Portnoy, and it's now my privilege to bring in the women's basketball coach at UNM, Yvonne Sanchez. Coach Sanchez, it's great to be with you, and uh, it's great to sit with you after a win over the rival Aggies. It's, it's nice to be here. It's nice to be here anyway, but especially after a couple of wins. That's right. You got a win in your final game of the Thanksgiving holiday tournament, and then come back a week later, and you host the Aggies, and, and victorious there, too. So back to back, and now four and four, right? I, I was always told when I first got the job here that there's one game that you absolutely can't lose to, and it's the Aggies. But you know, Mark does a nice job down there. Uh, I thought we played hard and we played well, and it was good to get a win last night. All right, well, let's get into our breakdown segment as we take a look at the highlights from the contest against the Aggies uh, in the pit, where the Lobos had great success. It starts here with uh, Keller finding Owens on the wing. You know, three seconds on the shot clock, great shot, great pass, and that's what you want. Um, and Tisha Brown was your leading scorer. But she did a lot more than just score in this game. She rebounded, she was dishing the ball as well, and she finds uh, Khadijah Shumpert here for a lay-in. Shumpert had a nice double-digit game. She did, and you know, that's a great move for Khadijah. She can sweep and go. Uh, and Tisha does everything for us. And, you know, she's going to continue to do that. I'm very hard on her, and she'll, she'll tell you that. But I know what kind of player she is, and she played a very good game last night. One thing I noticed in this game was you guys got out on the break a bunch, and, and here's one of them, Antisha Brown, with a really good sort of three-quarter court pass. Yeah, it's good to look up, find Sarah Basket! Hallis. You have Josie Greenwood there just in case Sarah she needs to clean Hallis. anything up, and then we get right back in our press, and that's what you want. Another double-digit scoring performance for Sarah Hallis with 10 points, and uh, here we've got uh, Antisha Brown setting up Josie Greenwood. You know, Josie had probably the best game of her career here. That's a great up and under with the left hand. She also had another nice move, but you know, it just goes to show the growth of our team and, and certain players. All right, Bryce Owen, uh, Owens, we saw her hit a three. Um, here's a terrific pass from Owens to set up uh, Brown for a three ball. I thought Bryce played one of her best games, too. She played hard last night. Uh, Tish was a ready shooter, knocked that shot down. But I credit Bryce in the entire game yesterday. She really played well, and she played hard. All right, uh, we mentioned Sarah Hallis with 10 points, Bryce Owens with another set up here, and then Hallis Owens goes to the elbow. You know, and, and it's just a, a shot we have, it's a play we have, great screen by Khadijah. Again, Sarah takes a couple dribbles, sets her feet, it's a nice shot, and that's what we work on every day in practice. So the growth is coming, and they're doing a great job. Um, and this is, is one of the best passes I've seen of the season here out on the break you guys are running. And you can see your player calling for the ball right there. Yeah, and you know, again, Lobo break, we do it every day. Bright, again, I, I can't praise Bryce enough. Alexa Chavez, who's gotten a lot of minutes since Steve and, and uh, Ebony Walker are out, and, uh, and even Whitney Johnson, and Alexa's making the most of it. So three double-figure scores. You guys jump out to the double-digit lead, and then uh, New Mexico State made a little run at you mid midway through the second half. Yeah, you, know, you know what? They're a team that averages nine threes a game, and we held them to four. So we know what, what kind of team they are and how dangerous they can be. Um, you know, we had, like, I think an 11-point lead. We missed a layup on one end, and we gave up two threes back-to-back, -back, and they cut it to five. But then after that, we kind of put our foot down and, and got back again. So it's it shows the growth of our team. We didn't let them hang around, and uh, we, we figured out their, their press and, and did well on offense. Is that one of those where you, you feel like you have control of the game, you've got a double-digit lead, and then all of a sudden you're biting your fingernails, a game that you felt like you had in hand, they hit a couple of shots, and now, oh my gosh, it, you know, it's down to single figures, yeah. and they could make a run here. You know, what you do with a team like New Mexico State is you never have it in hand because they're such good three-point shooters. So it could be a double-digit lead. It's one of those games, you know, when you've been in and you're up 20, but you keep your starters in because you just don't know. You don't feel comfortable. Um, you know, I know our kids played hard, and, and they took it at them, and I credit them for that. But I was never comfortable until maybe like the last minute of the game. Let's rewind to the Thanksgiving tournament, um, a loss to Binghamton, and then your kids really responded very nicely, winning their third place game in the tournament, and now you've won back-to-back -back games to get back to four and four. You know, it's good. It was, it was again, all the credit goes to Binghamton. They did a terrific job, and I don't want to discredit them coming in here and, and beating us. Uh, at the same time, it was a pretty disappointing loss for us. Um, and sometimes those losses can mean another disappointing loss unless you don't pick yourself right back up. I was really glad that we were able to play a game the next day, and I think our kids were too. So to have the mindset that they had the next day, and they came in with the right frame of mind, 
Uh, they wanted to play, and they did a nice job against Southeast Missouri State and then against New Mexico State. That shows a lot of credit for our team. Is that one of those losses that it can go one or two ways? It gets you dauber down or it gets you angry and you really respond and bounce back strong? That's exactly it. You know, you could have responded one or two ways. I like the way our kids responded uh, because we have had back-to-back -back wins since then. Uh, got a tough one coming up, but that's why you play the game. Well, and it's nice now that you have two wins and some time to prepare because your next one is yeah. really tough. It is. And, you know, we're hoping to get Diva back for it. You know, you just don't know yet. It's, it's uh, just a matter of her being symptom-free with everything. But it is. It's not going to be easy. But it'll be fun. The Lobos going on the road for number four Stanford in their next one. We're back with our next segment with head coach Yvonne Sanchez on your Lobo Coaches Show. That's right after this.